Hey guys, uh, this is Emil Sire. I build AI agents in Germany. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of Agent Builder or this product of Agent Kit that was recently announced by OpenAI. So, as soon as you open AI Agent Builder, you get like a UI like this where you can see things here. It's kind of like comparable to what you see here in Anathan. And it's one of the links there. You can already see it in your platform.openai.com. As soon as you open, it already puts one agent for you. Their nodes look differently. So I'm in here, I have already created a simple AI agent that has like literally a node that is connected with an email that can draft an email. And I want to replicate the same thing here so that you can see the difference, how it feels like. So the nodes look differently here. I'm going <clears> to <throat> make this a little bit bigger. And when you basically want to add a new one, uh, you can add a new node by getting used to it still myself. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I think from here, you can add a new node like this. Uh, even they are calling it node. That's nice. Uh, so anyways, what I want to do is in this agent node, I want to add a tool. And right now we don't have like this OAuth 2 integration, the same easy UI that Anything provides, but we can add these MCP servers. So I'm going to add an MCP server with my Gmail. Uh, it can only take you to the so-called Google, um, the, the GCP OAuth 2 platform URL, where you can add your tokens. So I'm going to search for Gmail. It is this Gmail API v2, v1. And I need to compose an email. And I take my tokens. I authenticate my UI in here. So it's kind of like more developer focused right now. Uh, it has not been in that uh, kind of like main user, uh, kind of like the mainstream user. I'm going to re remove all the tokens later after the recording so that it's not misused. I put this here in my Gmail inbox connected. The connections work. I can add all of this. Now I can click on preview and then in here, the same way as I do it here, I'm going to just give a little example. Can you please compose uh, an email to Chris and mention that we should talk about Nathan workshop scale up. Uh, compose, there we go. And then it should hit this email and you can see that the email is also created as a draft in my inbox somewhere here. You can see that. Not a big magic in any 10 world, this kind of the first mile of anyone doing any 10. Now I want to do the same thing here. Uh, the transcript is picking it as N A 10, <laughs> my pronunciation, but we're going to go with the same transcript. What happens exactly uh, is that I see this error and also the error goes away very fast. So apparently there's something wrong with the configurations or something. But the error says um, that there's something wrong. Apparently, my authentication worked fine, but I can't get along. Um, I will contact the support and find out what's going wrong. But this far was my experience with Agent Builder. I'll keep posting new content. Follow me for more new content about this whole world of vibe coding and flow gramming. Thank you.